on Wolves. How's everybody doing today? I'm having another really crazy like hyper day and I love whipping out the camera when I feel really good like this. I'm about to sit down and devour this delicious meal. It's my first meal of the day, currently 2.15. I think it's good for me to actually film when I'm fasted right before I eat because then I feel like I get into this wolf-like hunger state, like I'm about to attack my prey. So I have like a lot of energy. This is my meal right now. I'm eating some delicious turkey breast, some cauliflower, some sweet potatoes and walnuts and kale and avocado. Freaking delicious. But before I devour this, I wanted to give you guys a super important nutrition tip like that will change the way you forever look at nutrition. And this video is gonna surprise some people because most people when it comes to just thinking about nutrition, people focus on like calories and macros and carbs, proteins, fats, like what should I eat in the morning, what should I eat in the evening, it's very like surface level, but I'm gonna take this video and ask everyone to think a little bit more big picture about your nutrition. What do I mean by that? The number one most important aspect about nutrition involves the study of archaeology and anthropology. Oh my god, what the hell am I talking about? Jesse, you really are some crazy shit today. No, it's true, guys. Everything about the human body that is either healthy or bad from us currently all stems from like thousands of thousands of years ago and millions of years ago on how our bodies adapted, how the human digestive system has adapted over like hundreds of thousands of years. And we know, focus, there we go, and we know that the study of like our human species, Homo sapiens, started like 200,000 years ago. But before that, I think it's called Homo erectus, dates back to like several millions of years ago. And if you study the evidence of what our ancestors ate, it gives us a fair clue as to how our digestive systems have evolved over a long period of time. And what the healthiest foods are for us to eat in today's world. Now despite what you hear from extreme vegans and extreme raw foodists and other people that believe that you should completely eliminate certain parts of food from the human diet, the human digestive system evolved to eat both a mixture of plants and animal foods. This is a historical fact that humans, homo sapiens, have evolved as omnivores. And we're also, our digestive systems are also designed to eat raw foods and cooked foods. I know, I know, I know. We can get into a heated debate on the topics of extreme veganism and raw foodism, but it is a historical fact that our current species in almost every culture around the world ate some percentage of plant-animal food combination in addition to raw food, cooked food combination, even if it were at different times of the day and even different times of the year. There were some cultures such as the Inuit of the Arctic and several tribes in Africa that ate solely and thrived solely on animal-based diets, and there are other cultures in the world that thrive solely on plant-based diets. However, all cultures of some sort had a mixture of plant-based and animal-based diets. So now what am I talking about all this shit for? The bottom line is that we were designed through evolution to eat both a mixture of plants and animals as well as cooked and raw foods. But I'm gonna clarify a couple of the points that I made previously in this video. So although I say we were designed through evolution to eat an omnivorous diet, one thing we were never designed to eat were factory-based animals and factory farm raised like eggs and dairy. No bueno. Factory farming is an entirely new phenomenon that's still only decades old. So that was one thing that was never meant to be a part of the human diet. Chemically and nutritionally, factory farm animal products are vastly different from animal products that were raised the way that they were meant to live and eat. Examples of these differences can be hugely seen in the differences between like grass-fed meat, grain-fed, factory farm meat, factory eggs versus free-range eggs, wild fish versus farm fish, and so on and so on. The major differences are like the levels of like the omega-3s and the omega-6s and other healthy fats such as like CLA and other elements such as vitamins and minerals of the meats and products. Guys, I'm freaking tired. 
I just ranted like crazy for a while and my food is getting cold. But if you guys notice, what am I eating right now? I am eating a mixture of meats, vegetables, fats, sweet potatoes. And these meals make me feel really, really good. So one thing also you guys you wanna stay away from are processed foods, right? So if you could try your hardest to have grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, free-range eggs, shopping at your local farmer's market and just getting everything local, um, that's gonna greatly help your life. Stay away from the processed stuff, eat whole foods, and I'm gonna devour this. You guys are badasses. Big thumbs up for this video. If you guys are new here, subscribe. I love making videos about nutrition and health. Love being a positive influence on you guys. All right, guys. That about wraps up today's video. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's black and white.